Top story this half hour disturbance on the streets of Providence earlier this week continuing to make headlines this morning. Now that this police body cam footage has been released. Yeah, this video expected to be the subject of a news conference later this morning where we plan to ask why it appears to omit a fight between residents and police officers that was seen in some cell phone video. 12 News reporter Eric Ritchie live outside Providence Police Headquarters this morning with more on their initial explanation. Erica. Well, Patrick, Danielle, that initial explanation provided in this police report that was sent to us by Providence Police, it says that the body cameras were activated during this melee on Tuesday on Sales Street. But it does say here that they were dislodged from their mounts, from the officers' mounts during the struggles, and they could not be found for several minutes. So that could be the reason why we don't see the fight in the body camera footage. Here's, however, what we do see. Take a look. Body cam footage showing the scene. Providence police officers responded to around 6 Tuesday evening on Sales Street. According to the police report, the calls came in for a large public disturbance. The body cam video goes on to show that police were able to initially calm things down. The officers being seen at one point standing in the street just keeping watch. And we can hear them verbally try and help the residents keep the peace. We spoke to them. They promise me that they won't come over here as long as you don't go over there. We also see in the video residents interacting with officers in a conversational manner. But an individual at the scene sent us this cell phone video that appears to show a different scene play out. There are several different angles. We were there for a very long time. I will tell you, we've been to that house in the last year and a half 42 times. The police report says that, quote, while police were attempting to disperse the crowd, numerous individuals became confrontational towards police and attempting to physically fight each other. It goes on to describe one woman punching a sergeant in the head, causing him to respond with a blow to the woman's face. Pepper spray was also used, police say, to keep distance between them and others while making arrests. They attacked our children. They attacked everybody that was in this home. If you were recording, they attacked. They pepper sprayed. For them to want to protect and serve what they're supposed to do, they didn't do anything like that. There are a lot of police officers there, a lot of cameras that were there, and it takes time to go through a review. And five people were arrested during Tuesday's incident, charged with resisting arrest, disorderly conduct, and assaulting a police officer. This morning's news conference set to happen at 9.30 here at the police headquarters. We will have a crew there and bring you the latest starting on 12 News at noon. For now, live in Providence, I'm Erica Ritchie, 12 News.